Hi, this is Jamie. We're still here at our little homestead. That's right, we're still back here at the house. Uh, we moved back into it just because we didn't want anything to happen with the plumbing or anything in this sub-zero weather that we're getting. We're seeing all kinds of cars off the roads tonight. Um, they're loading them up. We can see them coming up and down the country roads. They're getting stuck. So, I mean, we got dumped with snow. Central Indiana, we got dumped. Sub-zero temperatures are coming next. So we decided to head out and get a few groceries. And... <laughs> And we did, we got John some stove boots. But I said, nope, today, I get my 11% off today for our military discount. John brought his ID card, I brought mine. We decided to have a contest. He got everything with the blue dots. And I got everything that was our digital coupons. Now that video I just made, and I will put the link for that video and our savings down below. And you're gonna see how I paid about $7 for a whole lot of laundry products. $16 for Cokes and all kinds of stuff all together. My cart was half full with really expensive items. I mean, the stuff that usually costs you quite a bit. And I, I'm gonna teach you how I did it, how I stacked digital and manufacturing and store coupons together, and how I used my military discount. And if I went on a Saturday, I'd also got the other $5 off $25 or more that is on our receipts. So, um, but this video is, is just a quick one. It really is. I wanted you to know about the savings about diapers. Everybody keeps asking me since I've been eight children, just had my 14th grandchild. This Jake and just had a sixth. It means we had our 14th grandchild. And since we're raising number 13, which is Katie, she's been a blessing. She's with us right now, in fact. Um, because of a health issue in the family. So my daughter has to work a lot of hours to pay medical bills and stuff. So, um, and she's an accountant. She's a CPA for a big firm in Indianapolis. She's a manager there. So uh, she's doing great. But, um, but see all that, that would have all been in jeopardy had we not been there to take Katie. So we knew that we I had to put all my jobs aside and that's why a lot of you hadn't seen me in a while. Well, now Katie's old enough. She's not a newborn anymore. She's almost 10 months old. and. I'm able to let John kind of watch her here a little bit. He's great with her. She loves her poppy. She loves her Mimi, but she loves her poppy. And um, he does morning and I do afternoons and evenings. I put her to bed and then he'll do middle of the night and morning. Um, and then we see now she's, she's sleeping back through the night again. She was, and then she wasn't, now she is again. So, um, so now we got her sleeping through the night again and now we're both getting sleep again. And with that, I've got the energy to make videos again. <laughs> so he's in there watching her. But when we went to a Dollar General tonight, he said, uh, and the snow was coming down, it was just her first snow. It was just beautiful. She just didn't know what to think of it. I'll put a clip of that here. Katie's first snow. What do you think of it? What do you think of your first snow? <laughs> I don't think she knows what to think. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Did you see that? I mean, she just, her first snow. Isn't that, isn't that precious? So I said, if we get enough snow, Katie, we're gonna build a snowman. I wanted to give Dollar General an honorable mention here because after 10 months of raising Katie, I just really felt that out of the diaper section and of all the coupons that they've given us, and I feel very blessed for the coupons that Dollar General gives and all the manufacturing coupons, I feel very blessed about that. That and the formula that we get from Walmart. But the gentle steps. I've tried every diaper on Katie, even cloth diapers, and she was breaking out. The only thing that she could wear was Loves and Huggies. And even Huggies was getting really iffy. So I tried Parent Choice at Walmart and I could use their wipes, but I couldn't use the Parent Choice diapers. 
every time she got a rash. It just didn't matter how long she was in the diaper. And I was wasting diapers because I was going through them so fast. So finally, I just said, oh my gosh, she doesn't need all this diaper curing. We don't even know what it does to them. It's like baby powder back then. We just don't know. And I don't like all these chemicals. I know it's zinc and, and it's good for eczema and things like that, which cleared up for eczema. But I thought, I'm going to get rid of this. So I decided that I would get the small bags of sample diapers and I would stop doing the cloth diapers for a while. And when we traveled, I would just see what worked. I just felt that the best diaper on Katie, the best price, that didn't break her out, that had the least amount of leaks. I mean, I had my little check marks going. Right? So I just felt that the Parent Choice diapers were a good price at Walmart, but they just, um, they just were given her rashes. And the Huggies and the Loves, I tried, you know, a pack of 32 or whatever on all of them. And we'd been doing this for 10 months. And I just kept going back to cloth diapers. And it's just, it was just so messy and everything when you're traveling. I needed a really good diaper that just wasn't costing an arm and a leg. So then when I started couping at Dollar General Store, I was couponing for the Huggies and the Loves coupons. And I was bringing them home. And one day I had saw these new premium diaper step ups. They just changed the name of it to a Dollar General Baby Premiums, but they're now called step ups. So they got the new um, gentle step ups is what they're called. And that's the new, the new diaper too. But the manager said it's the same thing. They just called it something different and labeled it different and put a little bit different design on the diaper. That's all they did. So I said, hmm, so I'll get rid of the Mickey Huggies and I'll get rid of these <laughs> loves and everything. I'm gonna try these. These were only um, 450. They were, I think they were 450 for um, for you know a bag of 34, I believe. So two bags of those was going to be nine dollars. And I thought, okay, so nine dollars, and I get 68 diapers. Not bad. But why not get 80 for 850? And I said, wow, that's really good. I'm getting a whole lot more diapers. I'm getting 27 more diapers. Plus, I got my 11% discount. If I bought them on Saturday, I'd gotten my 5 off 25 purchase. So, I mean, I did pretty good. I did pretty good on this. So, for about maybe $7.25, I got me a box of 80 diapers, size 3, and, um, and I'm happy with them. I have been using these now for about two months, and we've had three leaks total but she had really had big bottles I and mean, she's drinking more I mean, she's really putting on six to eight ounce bottles now uh, between meals so now i'm kidding she's supposed to be drinking 24 ounces of fluids a day a formula fluid and then plus on top of that any other fluid or drink so no apple juices or any of that yet the doctor said no keep her on formula but she can have you know people food so um so that's between all the baby food. So she's going to the bathroom a lot more, okay? But unfortunately, that makes her go like an adult. And, uh, and it's all up the back, it's a mess. So I tried these, and these actually went up a little bit higher on the back. It had the, let's just open them up and I'll show you. People in Clarion Minds want to know about the Dollar General diapers, right? Um, see, you get the two of these in here. And uh, let's put this here in between. Which, by the way, I also, for $1.95, I picked up the Gentle Wipes. They have the unscented, they have the aloe, they have everything the Parent Choice has, except for they don't have the kind with the refillables with the Ziploc on it. I still get that from Walmart under Parent Choice because that does not break her out. Because when I quit using the Parent Choice diapers, the breakout stopped. And, uh, um, but Gentle Steps has been doing this, and she's been getting along really well with this. $1.95, 11% off for the military discount. So I did pretty good on that as well. So about $1.50 for this. And, oh yeah, you get, sorry, and you get 72 wipes with that. So not bad. Come on, not bad, $1.50. So I'm not so picky with the wipes as I am the diapers because of all the leaking. And you can wear the cheaper diapers at home. Especially if I know she's already had a bowel movement, that's a good time to put a cheaper diaper on them. You don't have to have an expensive diaper if they've already pooped for the day. 
So this is what they look like. They got the little worm and it says th number three on it, size three. Um, she gets around in them well. They're not a really thick diaper. Um, they've got the double. I don't know if you can see this. They've got this stretchy and they've got the inside stretchy. Everything that Pampers, Huggies, and Loves has, they have it at Dollar General. The Parent Choice does just not, uh, just does not uh, do what the Dollar General brand does for even less money, okay? I'm telling you. So here it is. They've got the simple tabs, nice wide tabs. They catch really easy, really well. Um, I'm telling you, see, this is what I mean. It goes taller up the back right here. Now some have a little bit of a pleat right here to kind of like hold stuff in. Um, and that's the only accidents I've had in here is because of that, the poop coming up the back right here. Uh, I'm happy with them. Um, they fold up easily for throwing away. Again, I prefer cloth diapers when we're at home, but when I go someplace, or I'm, and we're always going somewhere, right? Um, it just makes it easier. So I say, and you can try it yourself and see what you think. Everybody's going to have their own opinion on it. I love them. Um, my daughter prefers uh, loves. The other daughter-in-law prefers Huggies. I prefer the Dollar General brand. And hey, since mom's the one that's flipping the bill and paying, of course, it's easy to ask for the more expensive ones, but I say get the ones for the least amount of money that does the job and doesn't cause a rash. For, for Katie, that was the Dollar General brand and the Loves brand, which is, just happens to be cheaper than Huggies. So, um, just happens to be. So, those are the two that we've been using on her, and I've been using everything from Huggies wipes to Dollar General wipes to my favorites, which are the Parent Choice wipes at Walmart. All right. I hope this helps you. Uh, go out and find out what diapers works with your baby. Don't stick to just one diaper and pay the big prices if you don't have to. If your diaper's leaking a lot and you're having a lot of incidents, change up diapers. If you have to, go up in price of diapers. But with these Dollar General baby diapers, I'm just not seeing that you have to. I think that we hit on something really good here. And I think they're gonna give the other diaper companies a run for their money, I really do. But I've been appreciative of the other diapers too, because, you know, they've saved me from having to change a lot of cloth diapers. And, um, but again, I like, I like doing the cloth diapers when I'm home. You be sure and subscribe because we would love to have you as one of our Pendleton Angels. Uh, we're getting ready to do John's haul on the blue dot clothes. Let's see what he got next, okay? Hit this link down below so you can see the other video on how I coupon and how it all works at Dollar General. And then leave me a comment below and let me know how you do it and what savings that you've, you've saved recently. Let me know. Anything about couponing. I'm interested. I want to know because I'm still learning too. All right? We love you. Go with God. And remember, we're almost 100,000 strong, so be sure and be a member of our Pendleton Angel family. And remember that we have contests periodically, and so you'll want to be sure and be subscribed because you have to be subscribed to win our contest. And sometimes we give away things like a box of diapers or a canner or a steam juicer. You just never know what's going to be, right? So be sure and subscribe, become a Pendleton Angel, and uh, let us know what you think of the show. And if there's something that you would like to see, let me know in this category, all right? Uh, we love you. Go with God. Blessings. The best diaper on her that she got the oops, sorry I just lost it. <laughs>